Hello everyone and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today we are going to continue our SEL experience and SELs are safety energy locations that we use in the art of Jinshin and they're 26 on the right side and 26 on the left side of the body and they are little areas that can get locked or congested and they become like a little traffic jam and when that happens the energy cannot flow freely in the body and so it's important that we hold the safety energy locations so that they can open up and that harmony in the body can prevail. So we've covered already uh, SELs 1 through 4 which is on the first cycle of energy, SEL 5 through 15 which is on the second cycle of energy, SEL 16 through 10 to 22 which is on the third cycle of energy and today we're covering SEL 23 which is on the fourth cycle of energy. And for those of you who have been following along, we know that depth four is related to the emotion of fear. And so a quick hold would be holding the index finger. And so as I'm talking, I'm inviting you right now to join in and hold your index finger and just take a few breaths here. Harmonizing depth four, harmonizing if we have any fear or anxiety or feelings of panic, this will really calm our system down. And so now we'll jump into SEL 23. It's a very important one because it's the only one that's on this fourth cycle of energy, only SEL 23. So it's a big one, an important one. And I certainly always use it uh, almost every session on my clients, or I would say every session I will spend some time at the 23. So 23 is located right here at the middle of the back. So this is SEL 22 at the hip and then SEL 23 is a little bit above it at T12. T12 is about at the middle of the back and that helps our stomach energy. And then L1 and L2 below it, it can go as low as this SEL 23. So can be up right here or all the way down here. It can be very close to the spine or more lateral. And when we're holding very, very close to the spine, we're helping the kidney energy and kidney, the kidney flow also harmonizes fear. That's an, an ascending flow, so that helps the inhale. And then when we slide out a little bit away from the spine, we're getting into the bladder flow. And the bl bladder flow is a descending flow, helps the exhale and to let go. And we have a lot of tight muscles there. Um, there's three tight muscles and interesting that we have three bladder lines moving through that area. So as you're exploring your 23, you can slide your fingers out from very close to the spine to more lateral and feel really where your 23 is. So, you know, Jinshin is all about getting to know and understand our own safety energy locations and understand exactly where we are spiritually, emotionally, and also physically. So, Yes, you can, you can place your fingertips, or if that's not comfortable, you can also place the back of your hand. And if they're very tight muscles, you can even place your knuckles right in there and lean back on your 23s. So that should feel very nice and relaxing. And I'm going to share with you a few notes from the core textbook. And if you don't have the core yet, I really invite you to get it because all the concepts of the art of Jinshin are explained, or at least all of them to really get you started, all the foundational concepts, and there's so much information in it. So I'm going to read a little bit from it, and while you're holding your 23s, and I will be holding them too. So the name of the location is fearlessness. So when our 23s are open, there is no fear, and there is no anxiety, and there is no panic. So we can prevent uh, panic attacks as well by keeping our 23s open. So very important to, 
to get to know your 23s and to keep them open. The physical meaning is proper circulation and maintenance for, a total, for our total being. So it helps the circulation in the body as well. So it's a wonderful hold for cold feet and cold hands and just total body circulation. The universal meaning is it's the controller of human destiny, connects heaven and earth and how we operate in our lifestyle. So 23 is located right here on the waistline. So it is between heaven and earth, heaven, the chest line, mind, our waistline, and then body, the hip line, and so 23 is at the waistline, so helping our mind, helping all of this, this thinking that we're doing, and when we, just when we get into, um, into wanting to control things in our life, instead of just trusting and being and, and letting it be. So uh, the 23s help the adrenals, and they're actually located right on the adrenals, the 23. And so it's always good if you have a project to go right to the spot and then place your other hand somewhere else to get the energy, stuck energy to move out of that area, which we will practice right after. And it's also used for blood conditions, diabetes, hypoglycemia, anemia, chronic fatigue, immune system, and labels such as leukemia, which of course is a blood condition. Also, if you're accident prone and addictions, and addictions is an interesting one, which I would invite you to think about the relationship between fear and addictions. So, you know, check in with yourself and see if you can see a relationship there. And so if there is an addiction that you would like to kick, then hold your 23s. That really allows you to kick the addiction. So one very uh, powerful hold to kick an addiction is holding the, the right 23 and the opposite 21, just like this. So let's practice that for a moment here. And for some of you who know the Art of Jinshin uh, or have the Art of Jinshin book, you know this is part of the stomach flow. So the stomach flow uh, is on the first cycle of energy, depth one. And so we're here we are connecting depth one and depth four. Because 23 is located on depth four, while 21 and 23 is part of the stomach flow. So. Yeah, this is where the art of Jinshin gets so interesting and we just can continue to study as long as we want. I've been studying this for more than 30 years now and still learning. And for some of you who are new and just holding your fingers and getting benefit from that and practicing these simple holds with you, there's a place for everyone in the art of Jinshin. Another dynamic combination is holding 23 with the opposite high one, and high one is located right here on the inside of the thigh, and that helps our digestive system. This is also part of the stomach flow. So both 21 and then the high one are all part of the stomach flow. So here, you're, if your 23 is congested by holding the high one, you're giving it an escape route to send it down. So see what feels comfortable for you. If you feel more comfortable holding the 21 and 23 or the high one. High one and 23 also helps the digestive system, digestion of food and also of thought. Another dynamic combination is holding 22 and 23. 22 and, and 22 is located right here underneath the collarbone. And this hold opens up the chest. So wonderful if you have lung projects, even for long COVID projects, uh, and you feel residuals in your lungs, then this is a dynamic hold for that. So yes, if you know someone with long COVID, then please share this hold. 22 and 23. How simple can it be? And let's just practice the other side. 22 and 23. 
we always go to the side in need but then you can also practice the other side for just a moment maybe a little bit shorter you be the artist jinshin is an art and so you are the artist to paint this beautiful empty canvas with whatever you need 22 and 23 and then another dynamic hold is 23 and SEL 12 and SEL 12 is located right here at the middle of the back of the neck and you're probably going to be on the same line if you're close to the spine with the 23 you may be close to the spine also on the 12 you can come around like this if that's easier kind of hang your hand there dropping the shoulders and 12 and 23 helps the bladder flow and so that's double fear bladder flow helps to harmonize fear and so holding the 23 and 12 you get right into the bladder flow so again if you have anxiety or panic attacks use this as a preventative tool it's much easier to prevent something uh, than to to stop it when you're in the middle of it so um, keep your locations open and you will prevent uncomfortable situations and dis-ease or disharmony and then one more hold that I would like to share with you is keep holding your 23 and then place your other hand on the opposite uh, SEL 8 right here and you can use your thumb or your fingertips like that and that's also a dynamic hold to give energy to your entire system and to really harmonize these 23s let's take one more breath here and remember always to drop your shoulders and again if this is uncomfortable then use the back of your hand very important to always be comfortable make yourself comfortable you can do these holds lying down you can do them sitting up whatever feels comfortable for you and then a dynamic hold to harmonize SEL 23 is uh, one mudra I'd like to share with you is holding the thumb and the index finger like this you can take part of the palm with it also and like this harmonizing worry and fear worry and fear and harmonizing worry and fear will help to uncross the cross on the back and that's right where the 23s are so let's just take three breaths here and then we're signing off next week uh, i will be in amsterdam so i'm inviting you to join and i'll show you a little bit of amsterdam while we do wellness wednesday and i thank you all so much for joining and if you like this video Please share it with a friend and subscribe to our channel. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you. Bye.